I've been watching you for so long, man, and having you on my channel, it's a big thing, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, short people do really hug. We jump and hug, man. You know, every black travel vlogger knows you. I used to be a subscriber when I was around 30k. Good to see you today. Now, in my you. country. Thank you. You're welcome. And I love what you're doing now as far as promoting yeah. you know, Africa and showing people the continent because a lot of people have one view of, of Africa. Yeah. And I feel the way that people change their perception is when they see. And so you're helping contribute to that narrative. Exactly. And that is why um, Africa to the world is very important. Yeah, because we need to change the narratives. Everyone thinks that Africa is this way, and I'm trying to show the other way. Yeah. And I've been doing this for like a year, and not even a year, and, like five months. And you're already 250k. No. Yeah. no, no, no. That was when I was in China. When I was coming back to Africa, I had like 100k. And five months in Africa, 150k. And you know why? I don't know. Because not many people are telling this story, exactly. supply and demand. Exactly. And they're, they're so interested exactly. in what is going on. In the, they're like, wow, look. We have white so far, we've never in Africa. Wow! This is crazy. Like, you have balcony. Let yeah. me show, show you some more stuff. Show them. Show them. Show them. So look, show you actually have balcony. They're taking over my channel today. Look, you have, you have a balcony. And look, they use nice materials. Yeah. Uh, There's a pool right there. Can you guys see it? Look, Someone's house, man. They're building. And like on the content, let, let's do an MTV crib too. I don't have the biggest place, just normal place. Like you come do your work here, boom, nice little sofa. Do you think? Don't put the drink. We don't promote alcohol. No, no. <laughs> right? You got one bedroom here, and this is Glow. This is one of the biggest people on social media. When you want to have the blue check, you know, fancy oh. blue check life. This is here, Glow. Um, one of the best storytellers. You know, a lot of Instagrammers are like, oh my God, look at my laptop. Oh my God, I'm so special. But she's an actual storyteller that gives substance and content to what she does. And so, I give her a shout out on your channel. Go <laughs> <follow Glow. laughs> and then, well, like, yeah, it's just a fresh. You can be comfortable when you come to Ghana. Now, most people would say, boom, you've got the oven, right? You got the oven, microwave. Now for your heads, what is this here? It's a fridge. A fridge? What do you say behind the camera? What's this? It's like a microwave. A microwave. Second like no, microwave. Oven. This is an oven and microwave. See? In Africa. Oh, that's a fridge. Oh, that's a <laughs> fridge. But no. This okay. is a TV. What? Boom! This is a TV. It's a fridge. There's the remote. Ah, bring the remote to. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is TV over. <laughs> we don't want to shake the head too much. But yeah. yeah. That's a TV. Bedroom. We're literally getting on a flight in an hour, but I said I have to come shake with my bro. Exactly. Really exactly. making the narrative better and showing people the reality of what's going on now. But we're about to go downstairs to the pool exactly. and. Yeah, man. I want to learn more about you, but your audience already knows no, about you. No, they know you. My audience already know you. They know me, oh. Exactly. Because I know most people recommended your channel to me before, so I think ah. most of them know you. It's just that they haven't subscribed. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you shake my channel now. 250, you know. Ah. <laughs> I feel like I'm, look, we have elevator. And it, <laughs> look, we have the elevator, so. And if you see the brand, yeah. this is Otis. And if you're not intelligent to know what Otis is, just do your research. Otis is the number one brand when it comes to elevators. And so I joke a lot. Um, I don't want to make content boring when you watch. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> no, 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 it's because me, I like that energy in my videos, and I'm, I'm glad that you're having the same energy. Yeah. And so yeah. one of the things that um, that happens with Otis and with social media, you don't always have to be famous exactly. to make an impact, right? Yeah. You can do things um, in life where you have a huge impact, if you have a vision that other people can be, you know, in front of the camera, yeah. um, making it happen. And so Otis is a multi-billion dollar company a year annually, right? 
and most people, you, you'd walk by that, you wouldn't even notice. Their website is old, you don't even know anything. So I want people not to always think, oh, how many Instagram followers, how many of them. But you can make real impact without actually being famous. Even when you look at the owner of this building, yeah. he's, uh, he's also a, a young African, yeah. um, Nana. Um, yes. And so he's, he's the founder of this. He has multiple buildings and going up. We, we need to let them know, you know, like people, you know, sometimes when I, when I vlog, I try to show the beauty of Africa. Yeah, people keep on telling me that this is are owned by foreigners. But this whole luxury hotel or whatever, it's owned by an African, and even Ghanaian. Yeah. That's what people don't get. When you were walking out, he was walking in. Oh, wow. you, just, you just missed him coming out. Oh. And, um, and so it's just a, such a special thing when I think people can see. They're like, oh, this is, I'm like, no, this is a Ghanaian that is, you know, created this, the vision for this, every little detail is from him. And he has a, like a new vision of how, you know, not only Ghana, but how Africa can be. Because I think it's important that, you know, especially the youth, they can see that they can become something special and you can create something amazing. Be before I let you go, there's something that you need to educate us. Yeah. Uh, this is a social media guy, yeah. you know, living the life. Mm -hmm. How are you able to do all these things? Because like people don't understand. You know, people even tell me go get a job. Yeah. But I can employ you. You know, like that kind of things. I wanted to say something like to the young Africans, like being on social media, not just being on Instagram and posting pictures or something, but being an influencer. What are you gonna tell anybody out there who is looking for to be someone like you? Because you're just on social media and like you move around a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like what is the message for the young people now? Um, I would say one of the biggest things to to realize especially with technology is especially before we're in an old generation right yeah. there's um and i respect the old you have to learn from the old that you know they're very wise um but when you're young you have so much youth you have so much energy and with technology you're able to create so much abundance very quickly because this is one of the greatest generations in history that you can make an impact worldwide and make income really quickly when you look at like a platform like instagram right uh facebook acquired them in 15 months they created a billion dollar company with 11 employees in 15 months right now when you look back in the day so take a brand like coca-cola and what it takes to become a billion dollar company first you have to do the branding you have to get the packaging right you have to create the product and then not only that, you have to have distribution, right? You have to do shipping. So now you have to have vendors that are gonna bring your products you know, across the world. So that was the old school. Like that's like a, a 10, 15 year process to create a billion dollar company. Now you have one idea and then you have access to the internet. So it collapses time frame. Everything of your, you know, an influencer doing something or even like I, I like to push the narrative. You don't need to be in front of the camera to make an impact and make money. So many people are like, oh, I have to be on the camera, oh, I have to be shaking. But you really don't. You can really make, so I make 98% of my money behind the camera, right? So I have like a financial education company with a business partner, I have a marketing company. Um, you have a lot, a lot, I do a lot of things behind and storytelling, creating videos is just like my art and my passion. And so I tell people, if you have an idea, you know, learn marketing, right? Learn how to collect emails, learn how to, um, you know, monetize your skill set. So not just, hey, I'll be an influencer. Think about how you can own what you have. And that's what I love about this new narrative. Before, you had to take five million from Maybelline. But now, you can create your own products and then distribute them directly um, to the consumer. But that's why I say with the price is know your value. And especially here in Africa, right? Know your value of what you can create because they're behind. They're not gonna. It's gonna be like ten years before they get. If you're like, oh, these brands are not paying. Create your own. Figure out how to monetize. You know, and obviously the banking system here is different. They use like MTM, send money, all these things, industries, and you can come shape your, your places and then even take over the nation. Take over the nation. I guess I'm the one who's gonna take over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice meeting you. But tell them. Describe Ghana in three words before I let you go. Ghana in three words. A few words. A place you have to visit. A place you have to visit. That's four. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.